Hi guys, I'm Karen Cabot, and today it is finally time for the full Christmas decorations tour of my apartment 2017. If you're wondering what I'm wearing, um, I just made this for the Christmas DIYs to do when you're bored video, and I just shot the like beauty shots of me wearing it. And honestly, I love it so much that I didn't even want to take it off. Still wearing it for this video, I have no shame. So of course, every DIY video that I mention, I'm gonna link right down below if you wanna see the full DIY for anything that I'm showing. And yeah, let's just get into it. All right, so here is the apartment looking over uh, this way. This is the little dining room area, also where I shoot all of my craft videos on this table. On the table is the advent calendar that I made for HGTV Handmade. I think it makes such a lovely little centerpiece. And then up here is like, the star of the show. I'm sure this is what all of you guys were waiting for me to go through, tell you where I got all of this stuff. Okay, so here on the top layer, we have the Let It Snow sequin word, which I made for HGTV. We also have this tinsel pom-pom wreath thing, which I made out of a pizza box. That was for the DIYs to do when you're bored video. And then we have my giant gingerbread men, which again are made out of cardboard boxes and puffy paint. And those were for the oversized decorations video. Underneath that is all of these wrapping paper trees, which again were for the oversized decorations video. Okay, so over here in the back, we have the big bottle brush tree, which I decorated with mini pom-poms in a garland last year. And then just a whole bunch of other big and mini trees. I wanted to make kind of a multicolored forest. We also have my painted cars that are transporting their Christmas trees home. I made those last year as well. And I actually just re-edited the social Facebook video for how to make these. So uh, I'll put that link down below as well. I got these little deer guys at Target last year. In this little tray are some giant jingle bells as well as the uh, paper gemstones, which I made for HGTV earlier this year. And I love them because they're so neutral that I can use them to decorate all year long. Next, we've got a thing of colored pencils with rhinestones on the end. I also made those for HGTV. And my uh, glue containers, the gold and pink ones, which both of those projects were for the video about how to make your craft supplies look cute. And I have the origami tree and the origami card, which I just made for HGTV the other week. All right, moving on, we have my little gold nutcracker, which I just painted with gilding paint last year. There's a candle in the back, which is from Target, and this snow globe is also from Target, both of them from last year. This pink bottle brush tree I just got in the dollar section of Target this year, uh, that little, sequined elephant ornament was from Target last year. And then we just have a, a little uh, cup of straws, which again, just bring a little more color to the space. After that are my two Pantone boxes, which I need to have out because the purple one holds all of my most used craft supplies. So I just need that right at hand so that I can grab them as I'm working. And then the pink one just kind of matches the purple one. That one is actually filled with Ziploc bags. And if you're wondering why we have so much alcohol over there, uh, uh, the reason is because we literally, my roommate and I, uh, we literally never drink it. So it just sits there. It's not like we're going through it every week. Like most of that stuff has been there for months and months and we just don't have anywhere else to put it. So, you know, we have really nice, like cutesy Christmas decorations and then just a counter full of alcohol. <laughs> So that was this whole wall of decorations. Now we're gonna swing over to, oh man, I need to close those blinds. Sorry, one sec. Okay, so here is the giant hexagon snowflake wall, which I showed you how to make in the oversized Christmas decorations video. In the middle there is the sequin word, which I made for HGTV. And then down here, I set up this nice little display. I tried to keep the colors uh, not too bright because I didn't want it to compete with the wall too much. So if we start over here, we have another little jingle bell, a candle, which I did not turn on because the battery 
doesn't work anymore, so I need to replace that. Also these glittery silver and gold cone trees. And then I have this little card display, which is from Umbra. Um, I gave that away in a video a few months ago, and um, they also gave me one to keep. So I put my favorite monochromatic Christmas cards on there. So uh, pro tip, if you're sending me a Christmas card, make it black and white and gold, and then I'll probably put it out on display. And if it's not those colors, it'll probably sit in a box. Sorry. <laughs> in front of that is this polka dot clear ornament, which I made, oh God, like three, four years ago. Um, there's a video on my channel somewhere about how to make that. And then I have these glittery giant jingle bells in, oh, I need to shake these up. One sec. So these are glitter jars and don't worry, the top is glued on, so it's not like it's gonna um, spill everywhere, but I made these using Marianne's tutorial on HGTV, but there are tutorials all over the internet, like tons of people have made these. Um, it's basically just a jar filled with water and glitter. <laughs> Next to them I have these bookends, which I got when I did that video for Wayfair like three years ago. I still love them. I don't use them as bookends, I just use them as like a sculpture, as a piece of art and then uh, another candle, which does not work. So that's this whole wall, which again, I'm so happy with. I really wanted to do some large scale, colorful decorations this year, and I think it's just really fun and really festive and modern. All right, so um, I seem to have lost a piece of my microphone, so if the audio changes at this point, um, I apologize. But anyway, if we come around to here, there's not a whole lot to see over here. We've just got my giant craft cabinet, which I put these little glitter snowflakes on, and I just hung those up with glue dots. And down here, this isn't part of the decorations, I just thought you guys might like to see. I have all of my um, foam boards that I've spray painted, which I use for the backgrounds of my DIY videos. So here's the inside of the craft cabinet. Um, it's a little messy right now, so don't look too closely. Uh, down there you can see all the extra rolls of wrapping paper that I have left over, which I can now use to wrap actual Christmas presents. All right, so if we swing around here from the uh, craft cabinet, now we are getting to the tree. Oh hey, you guys, look. That snowflake just fell off. I had put it back up for like right before I filmed that shot and it uh, just fell off again. So I think I need a few more glue dots. Okay, anyway, as I said in the DIYs to do when you're bored video, the white tree is from Treetopia. They sent it to me for free um, so that I could make a video about how I decorated it. And I decorated it with just a ton of rainbow ornaments that I got from Michaels. I love it. This is my dream Christmas tree. I think it's gorgeous. Next to it, we've got this pink Christmas tree, which I actually only bought because when I was doing the um, ping pong Christmas DIY video for HGTV, I made the crafts and then I was like, you know what? These would look so good on a pink background why don't I also get a mini pink Christmas tree? So I ordered this on Amazon. Um, I paid way too much money for the rush shipping so it would get here in time to um, do the beauty shots of that video. I decorated it with the glitter perler bead snowflakes, which I showed you how to make in the DIYs for when you're bored video. And then you guys, this tree topper is the actual worst. I got it at Target for $5 and it is so lightweight, it is constantly like getting crooked and falling off, and this thing is gonna like kill me. It's so frustrating. I definitely next year I need to do like a DIY mini tree topper so that I don't have to use this one again because it is the worst. So underneath the tree, I just have these little gift boxes, which, funny story about these. Um, when I did the advent calendar video for HGTV, I wasn't sure if I wanted to make it out of little gift boxes or big gift boxes. So I got 25 of each. Obviously I decided to use the little ones. So now I just have 25 of these square gift boxes and nothing to do with them. So I just threw a few of them under that tree with some uh, bows on them. The faux fur tree skirt I got from 
Target this year. Behind the tree, I'm sure some of you guys are wondering what these posters are. They're actually made by the French paper company, which is always a sponsor of Adobe Max. They always have a booth in the expo hall and they give away really nice posters, like just for free for anyone to take. And so this year they had this colorful Adobe Illustrator poster and the Photoshop one that's on the other side. And you can't really see it, but this poster behind the tree is from French Paper Co. from Adobe Max last year. Under the tree I have a big ol' pile of presents, which, fun fact, they're not real presents. That's my board game collection. So that's a little craft hack, which I've been doing for the last few years. If you want to give the illusion of having a big overflowing Christmas tree, but you don't actually have a lot of presents to give, or you don't have anyone to give a lot of presents to, just wrap up your board games. They look great. I really should have put gift bows on these. They look a little plain, but uh, I didn't have any, and I didn't have time to run out to Target again to buy some, so right now they're just plain. If I end up at a store that sells gift bows, maybe I'll get some and throw them on there. Okay, I lied. After I filmed this, I actually was at Target and I picked up some gift bows because it just looked unfinished, and I needed to throw some gift bows on there, and so this is what it looks like now. I think it looks great. Okay, so those are the trees. So now we can swing around here. We're almost done. Here we have the TV stand. This is really fun to style every year. Uh, this year I put up this perler bead Christmas light garland, which I made for the uh, DIYs to do when you're bored video. Behind the garland we have a record player, which I have literally never used. I got the record player when I did that thing with Wayfair and I don't own any records so I can't use the record player, but it looks really nice. <laughs> and then um, I also have some wrapped up board games, which I made for my uh, how to like hacks for being organized video on HGTV like two years ago. On top of the TV stand, we have this uh, candle. We have a little mug that says shine bright and it's filled with really colorful candy canes. Um, if you're a real life friend of mine and you come over to hang out, I would not recommend actually eating those. I bought them last year and they've been sitting in my Christmas box for a year and they kind of melted. They're a little sticky, so it's kind of gross. I'm gonna throw them away after this year, but I thought they looked nice as a decoration, but just FYI, uh, please do not eat them. And then on the other side, I have this little Christmas mini tree thing, which um, I actually painted those berries pink because they were red, and I don't know if you could tell, but I am so over red. I'm all about pink for Christmas. Unfortunately, I was kind of rushing and I didn't do a very good job, so it looks a little messy if you look up um, really close. So if you come over to hang out at my house, if you're a real life friend of mine, just don't look closely at that. Look at everything else, don't look at that. <laughs> All right, so if we swing around to this side, you can see the couch and the coffee table. This coffee table is just from Ikea, but I really like it because it has the glass top so I can always decorate what's underneath. So this year I have this gold tray which has all of our TV remotes, and then I have this white tray which just has the pine cones that I painted gold last year, as well as an Instax camera so that if we have friends over, people can just you know, take cute photos of each other. And then on the couch, on the back is this gray faux fur blanket, which is way more expensive than I ever would have bought myself, but I got it when I did that Wayfair video and I love it. It adds so much texture and it's really snuggly and warm. Uh, we also just have two cheap like Ikea blankets. I wish I had a pink blanket to put here, but I don't have one, so I just had to go with red. It's fine. Fine, I can deal with one pop of red. And then we've got this colorful pillow, which was from Wayfair, this little faux fur pillow, which I just got from Target the other week in the like dollar section. Uh, we have this geometric pillow, which is from Target last year. And then this Believe pillow, which is from Michael's last year. And then over here on the counter in front of the kitchen, I just put a white marble tray and some little candy canes because I think it's nice to be able to offer your guests a festive snack over the holidays. And also, I don't really like candy canes, so it's the one candy that I can have in my house and not have it be gone in like the next two days. <laughs> um, I also put the giant pine cone that I painted gold right there as well, just because I thought it was funny. Oh, and if we look over here, you can see that I still have these 
um, cookbooks that I covered in brown paper and stamped last year. Honestly, they've been sitting in the exact same spot for a year. I haven't changed that. All right, so that is the entire apartment this year. I love how colorful it is. I love how bright and festive it is, and I hope that you guys like it too. All right, that was the Christmas tour. You guys don't even know how many hours of work went into all of these decorations this year, but I love it. It's so Christmassy and so cozy and there's color everywhere, which was the number one goal for this year's decorations. So like I said before, all of the videos that I mentioned, I'm gonna link down in a playlist or right down below. I'm also gonna link last year's Christmas tour so that if you want to kind of compare two different styles of decorating, you can see what I did last year compared to this year. That sounds fun. Does it? I don't know. So I would love to know in a comment how you are decorating your apartment this year. Or did you do any of the DIYs that I've been showing you all month? Or did you come up with your own DIY projects? Or if you're not decorating, I would love to know what your favorite part of my apartment is. So please make sure to like this video and subscribe. And I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas, a very happy holidays and I'll see you guys next time.